What's going on guys? Again, this is Nick McFarland here at the Weight House in College Park. And today, we're gonna to talk about calories. Here we go. Murder on my mind, it's time to pray to God. My revolver's not religious, the revolution's born. You wanna know my name, then go and tell us all. You wanna know my gang, suicide squad. Pistol on my waist, I might make a mistake. What's going on guys? Again, today we're going to talk about calories. Let's make it simple. Too many people make this subject way too difficult. And a big reason why I want to get into it now is a lot of people, you know, we're three months into the year and a lot of people are, are, are talking to themselves, why haven't I lost the weight that I told myself I would lose this year, right? Um, the New Year's resolutions, a lot of times right now, this is when people start getting the most frustrated because the first month it didn't work, second month they're trying their hardest, and now the third month they're like, well, it's just not going my way, I'm not worried about it, and then some of them just flat out quit. Now is not the time to quit, now is the time to understand your body and what it's gonna take for you to move forward towards your goal, all right? So calories, let's make it simple. First of all, your body needs this much energy, right? for it to maintain the body weight that you currently have. Now, if you wanted to lose weight, you'd, less, you'd give it less than that, right? And then you would lose weight. If you want to put on weight, you would eat more. Very, very simple. That's it. See you later. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, that's as simple as it needs to be. And, you, and there's so many people that make it more difficult. And the big reason why I'm doing this now, again, is because of the resolutioners that, you know, unfortunately are, are frustrated. This is not to make fun of them, this is to help them. But all this other shit out there that I see, I see billboards of freeze away the fat. And I, as soon as I saw that, I was like, what the hell is going on? And people fall for that. People fall for these little pills and, and tricks and, and all this shit that doesn't help people live a healthy life, right? So what, I'm, what my goal is, is just to give you an idea of how you can do this on your own, all right? Obviously, yes, working out is awesome. It's gonna help you burn more calories and initially get you to that goal. Again, if weight loss is your main goal. If strength is your goal, then, you know, lifting weights can help with that obviously as well. If you wanna put on size, yes, that can help out as well. But when it comes to actual calorie intake, this is something that you need to understand in order for you to not perfect the process, but for you to understand the process a little better, okay? So again, your, your, your energy is here. This is what you need to maintain. Now in order to find that, you're not just gonna guess like, okay, great, I need you know, this many calories. Now you can do that, but it's a little bit longer process to do that. There is a calculator that's called the TDEE, and essentially what that is, your total daily energy expenditure uh, calculator. Simple terms, how many calories do you need to maintain your weight? That's it, right? So if you're trying to maintain your weight and you want to collectively just stay at that weight while you're training or doing whatever it is that you're doing in life, then this number will be approximately what you need. There's no telling you that this will work 100% for everybody if that's not how it works, but it'll give you a pretty good average of what it should be, okay? Now, if you're trying to lose weight, you can guess what you need to do? You're right, you need to decrease that number. Now, it's gonna give you an, an option, I think it's uh, anywhere from two to 400 calories is usually what it's gonna spit out. Um, and you wanna experiment. The biggest thing that I tell everybody, especially if you have time, if you have a couple of months to experiment with this, then that number that it gives you for maintenance, try that number out. Eat that many calories and the macro spread that it gives you, and we'll talk about macros on another day, but eat that amount of calories for a week or two weeks and monitor your weight every single day and just kind of see how much you're fluctuating. Are you staying about the same? Are you dropping? Are you gaining? Or is it kind of you know up and down each day? And if it's up and down each day, that's pretty normal. I mean, for somebody to stay the same exact weight every single day is that's abnormal. It doesn't happen very often. So try it out for a couple weeks, see if that's it. And if you end up staying about the same, then boom, you know that that's pretty much your maintenance. So if you're trying to lose weight, then we would go ahead and decrease the calories from there. Try it out for 200 calories a day. Then if you want to experience, experiment a little bit more, then that's fine. But try it out slow. That's how, what you want to do. You don't want to just 
you know, cut out five, six hundred calories and just say, hey, you know, I'm going to be fine in this process. It's not going to happen. And you're going to experience a lot of problems up here. It might drive you crazy and relapse on the whole diet anyways. Okay? Now, on the flip side of that, if you're trying to gain weight, again, you do just the opposite. Experiment at the maintenance and then slowly increase that as well. Um, obviously, you don't want to put in a ton because you'll just gain a bunch of body fat. That's not what you want. Um, and we just go from there. All right, guys. So it's really that simple. One of the biggest things that I use and that has helped me along my whole, you know, lifting career, however you want to say it, is my fitness pal. If you're not using it already, this is something that you should use. Put it in your life. Um, again, it's uh, called my fitness pal. And this little thing right here, this is going to make the whole process a lot easier. All right, guys. Uh, really, what you do is uh, you're just going to. You, you can go in here and set goals. I'm not going to go through and set this up. Um, but you can go in there and you can put in what your maintenance is and then it'll tell you how much you should be eating each day. And it'll even give you, again, going back to the macros, it'll give you macro spread on uh, what it thinks you should do. It doesn't necessarily mean that's the way you should do it, but it, it does give you uh, an average of, uh, of a way to get you towards your goal. So I've used this for... Uh, on and off for probably seven years now, and when I'm when I'm really at it on my uh, on my plan, then you know I stick with it on a daily basis. If I'm not, if I'm in an area where I'm just working on strength and I'm not worried if I gain a little bit or if I lose a little bit, then I'll just more or less kind of put some stuff in there every once in a while, kind of get an idea to make sure if I'm estimating on a daily basis that I'm doing it, you know, consistently. All right. So again, guys, use that TDEE calculator below. Get what your actual maintenance is, and then go ahead and experiment from there, whether you're trying to gain or lose or even maintain. As always, guys, if you have any questions, leave the comments below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And again, thank you so much for watching. Welcome to the Weight House.